Today we're gonna make the original Legend of Zelda screen scrolling style in Unity. And here's how. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need in our scene is the player and the camera. The camera is gonna be following our player and we are gonna code it. So to start coding we're gonna make our C sharp script. We're gonna call it camera grid and we're gonna drag and drop it to our main camera. Now we're gonna have our main camera grid script. We gotta open it on Visual Studios. And now that we have camera grid, we're gonna remove the start event because we don't need it and we're gonna add in our variables. So first we're gonna need a public transform. And this is gonna be our target for our camera. And we are also going to need a vector 2, which is going to be the, si uh, the size for our grid. Let me make it also public. So this size is going to determine the size of our grid. And now we're going to need a float, a public float. And public float. That's also going to determine our speed. This is used later on for smoothing purposes. So what we are going to do now is going to start writing the code to make the calculations for our camera grid. First we are going to do a transform that position. We're going to make a new vector tree. I'm gonna open the brackets so you guys can see better what I'm making. So first we're gonna need a math function round and on the right. And on this round function we're gonna put ourselves target x position target that position that x and we gotta divide this value by our size of x position. Now we gotta multiply this by sides as well. So what's basically happening here, position gets divided by the size and that's gonna equal to one. And if that's equal to one, then the camera is gonna move that many times to that axis. So for example, if I'm, to, uh, I'm position two and the size is one, well, we're gonna divide it and we gotta get a two out of it and then it's gonna get multiplied by size so it's gonna move the camera twice to that size so to that area so that's basically how it works uh, let me specify this it's gonna be an integer the round of integer what's missing we gotta copy the and paste this code for the y axis as well you could do it for the z axis but I'm not using the z axis so feel free to do it on your own and one more thing, we gotta also make sure that our set axis doesn't mess up. So I just put it there so we don't have any issues with it. Okay, now we have our code and now we can put it on Unity. Now we wait for this to load. We got the size and the target. Our target is gonna be our player. So we select it. And our size. It's gonna be, it's dependent on the aspect ratio, basically the size of this square. We can select here different, different sizes, but I'm just gonna prefer the 5x4. And the values for the 5, 5 by 4 aspect ratio is 12, 12.5, 10. And this is basically the size of this cube, so it's basically 12.5 across and 10 from top to bottom. And this is gonna allow us to determine what's the size of our grid. In fact, I could make it smaller or bigger, but let's see it in action. Now if I go up, we're gonna see that we have different scenes moving around. I can go down and left, but what if I go diagonal? 
as you can see, it's gonna be always pointing towards the scene and not in between scenes, so we can make stuff there. So basically we could use this for a code for something like Legend of Zelda based. We can have the character move around. And yeah, this is the purpose. But however, we can polish it even more by using linear interpolation. So let's show you what, what I mean. So here we gotta go to our transform.position. And here's the second part of the code. We're gonna make a transform. We got okay. First we're gonna move this transform that position downwards. We're gonna make a variable here for vector 3. Let's call it password right now. Okay, so our transform position is gonna be equal to vector 3 dot lerp which is gonna give you access to linearly interpolate our two vectors of position. So the first position is the transform that position, and our second position is gonna be pause. And now that we have both, we need a value to linearly interpolate both variables. So we're gonna use our speed variable, and there we have it. This is just gonna smooth things around, and the code, and I mean the screen, and when we make a transition, it's gonna look like we're moving upward, and it's gonna look really smooth. So now let's head to Unity. We're gonna change the speed. Waited to compile. We're gonna change the speed to 25. Now we hit play. And we wait, and we move upwards. And as you can see, you get the scrolling effect, and it looks better and really smooth. So this is basically it, and it looks really good, and I highly suggest anyone trying it out. And I'll document and link everything in the description. This is basically it. Thank you for your attention. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you.